What is going on, all of you gaming legends out there? My name is Tyler Duffy, I'm, and this is what the fuck? That is right, ladies and gentlemen, Modern Warfare 3. Hello, and welcome everybody to Throwback Tuesdays. Hopefully, gonna be posting some Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, and maybe even some Call of Duty 4 if I get ballsy enough. In this game here, you really know it's fucking retro, because I am playing with Tomb. This thing has been sitting on my hard drive fucking forever. So I thought I would share it with you guys, and man, oh man, does Modern Warfare 3 definitely look different with all of my beautifully edited kill cams and I'm sorry I can't get the nice little layout out there for you guys because honestly I probably couldn't even tell you what I have on this UMP here. I'm running Specialist which was honestly one of the greatest things ever introduced to Call of Duty for Search and Destroy players because you could just be a powerhouse by like the third round. Um, but with that being said, it was really nice watching this and uh, kind of depressing because I got to realize what Call of Duty was like with sound. I was like, oh my god, I can hear people. And then I also remembered how overpowered Sitrep was and the fact that I could hear people coming up the escalators from, you know, halfway across the map. But with that being said, uh, there are a couple things I wanted to discuss in this throwback video for you guys today. First of which, in consideration of the Deathbringer situation, I am done talking about it. I made my commentary. I have said my piece. You guys can take it how you want. If you want to hear two alternate sides of the story, which I feel present the facts quite well, Nick's and Spartan's videos will be in the description below for you guys to check out if you still have some curiosity regarding the entire or deal now with that being said let's go ahead and talk a little bit about gameplay standards back in the day in modern warfare 3 i looked at this and i didn't use it because to me 14 and 1 in 5 rounds it's okay there were such high gameplay standards however when i went back and watched it with the eyes of modern warfare 3 compared to black ops 2 uh i realized how great of a fucking gameplay this is i managed to get 14 kills in five rounds with three bomb plants that is one objective player motherfucker that is right obj all damn day from your boy deathly i am here oh god that's specialist i just felt like fucking super soldier running out there with this shit look at this this had so much gameplay potential as always oh oh and the assist you bitch where were you when the two kids were pushing through door nope you were sitting behind the potted plant waiting to pick up captain cleanup ladies and gentlemen so um gameplay standards seem to have really i don't know I have my own standards uh, with Black Ops 2, and I feel like it changes depending on the game type and the game. Um, I just feel like there's so much pressure placed on commentaries, commentators to get these amazing gameplays, and frankly, there's no point in it. I can get just as many views and my point across in it 12-0 as I can versus an 18-0. 18-0, obviously better, but for my own standards, you know, 13-0 in four rounds is usually my minimum. I have no maximum. I have a 19-3. I still haven't decided if I want to post it or not. It's going to be around seven minutes because, honestly, the, every round when it's full length with a bomb plant because kids refuse to leave their corners. Oh, my God, I'm so red. My screen is having its period. Oh, get fucked on. What a change in pace. A game where a sniper can take shots and their scope drops. Oh my god, it's so refreshingly amazing. But that is my two cents on everything. Sorry if I didn't really go too in-depth with things. This is a pretty short video. So I hope you guys enjoyed the throwback. If you guys want to see more of this stuff, please let me know. And as always, have a gorgeous day, you beautiful motherfuckers.